This is Back to the Future. This is the German Touring Car Masters 2000. And this is the Nürburgring, site of the fifth weekend of racing in the German Touring Car Masters. And as we have in most of our shows, we like to present to you one of the drivers involved in today's race. The theory, the present, the past, and the future, they belong together. Christian Menzel is a factory supported driver, while his son, Nico, is getting into carts. To get into formula racing in Europe, you start in the carts. Then it's a question of time before your talents are discovered and you get the chance at the international formula scene. Ich hoffe, dass er die Formel 3 Saison in 95 gut beendet. I hope that he has success in this Formula 3 season. That he get a chance then in the future as a test driver. Maybe in Formula 3 or Formula 1. That would be really a very good start. But it didn't happen that way. The financial support wasn't there. Formula racing was a dead end. Christian Menzel renewed his driving career in touring cars. He had two successful years with BMW. He works with the BMW Formula Junior drivers. He gained respect in the super touring cars and BMW. The German Touring Car Masters 2000 is a new challenge. Menzel was the last driver to receive a contract. He had to learn about his Opel as he raced it. He knows his team is behind him. They believe in his talent and the success is near. And it might come here at the Nürburgring, the 2.83 mile circuit in the Eiffel Mountains of Germany. New course to Peter Dumbrecht. Um, I've done one test at the Norberg Ring, so um, I get to see a bit of the track, and it was a nice, car, a nice track to drive, quite um, flowing. Um, there was a very slow chicane at the end of the lap, which means you have to uh, hit the curbs very hard. I think that's quite an important part because you can break very late into there and take a lot of speed through if you're um, very aggressive with the car. So I think that's quite a, an important part, and. Um, the first corner also, the curbs are very high, so you can't hit the curbs too high or else the car jumps off the road and into the gravel, so you have to be smooth through there. Um, but at the same time, you have to be quite attacking on that track to try and find the final tents that are going to put your grid position higher. And here's how they line up for the race today. Bernd Schneider, your point leader, on the pole position. Next to him, Uwe Alsen, hoping to improve on his season. Peter Dumbreck, who you just heard, starting third in the Mercedes. The Opel of Manuel Reuter starting fourth. Christian Menzel's best starting position of the year. He's coming in fifth today. Klaus Ludwig up there in the points right next to him. Then comes Michelle Bartels in an Opel and Eric Ellery in an Opel. Then comes Modena and Timon, Opel and Mercedes bound. And they're going to be facing a track today that has been hit by rain. The Eiffel is known for its problems with rain, and here it is a major question. Most of the drivers have started on wet tires, but Menzel and Bartles, Modena Turner, and Scheider have not. They're going with slicks. It'll be interesting to see who has it. On the right is Alsen. On the left is Bernd Schneider. They're going to go into a right-hander as the cars line up. They come around the corner, they'll be waiting to take the flag. It's a blind corner until now, they cannot see the flag until now. Now it's up to the leaders. Bernd Schneider, the man who's looking to extend his point lead. 
Here they come, down in front of the main grandstand. And we're underway, and Schneider gets a great jump. Bernd Schneider gets a great jump, and now it's a run down to this right-hander that separates the field. There you see Uwe Alsen pulling out immediately behind him. He'll take second place. And look at that, moving up in that black Mercedes with the red mirrors is Klaus Ludwig. He's moved right up into a battle for fifth place with Manuel Reuter. Those two cars coming along as Schneider's out in front, a left-hander, and they head downhill now. There you see Ludwig with the black Mercedes and the red mirrors getting by Manuel Reuter. So you have a Mercedes up front, then comes an Opel, and then comes another Mercedes. You're riding with Manuel Reuter. As the cars head down the hill into the 180 that brings them back up the hill again. And you can see how wet it is. The leaders are on wet tires. It rained in practice on Friday. It was dry yesterday and today. Well, you can see what's happened. There goes Winkelhock getting by Menzel, two Opel drivers. Jochen won a couple of races, or at least won one race earlier this season. Was leading and then had a problem because of rain. This is the third event that's had an effect by rain on it. That would be the first race of the season in Hockenheim, then the Norris ring, and then here. Rain certainly having an effect on the European style of racing. And right now the cars are settling into their routine already. Look at this. Bernd Schneider is out in front. Then comes Uwe Alsen. Then comes Dumbreck, and there goes Reuter off the course as Ludwig goes by. I hope that's not a sign of things to come with the Saxon ring. Opel had terrible problems with grip. And there's another Opel. Menzel has gone off the course. The Opels fighting for grip at Saxon ring had a terrible, terrible time at the last race, and they're hoping they've got the problem worked out. However, in the wet, we'll just have to wait and see. Schneider has opened up a lead already as Alsen has gone off. Another Opel has gone off. Uwe Alsen off the course. So now Mercedes is taking control here in the opening moments of the first race of the day here at the Nürburgring in the Eiffel Mountains of Germany in the German Touring Car Masters. As they go into the corner, Menzel got a little bit of help there. Thomas Jaeger was the one who helped him. And so his... Great qualifying has gone to naught. He's back in the pack, and he's going to have to fight his way to the front once again, which is very hard in this series. The cars are all very equal. There you see Manuel Reuter. He is the lone Opel challenger right now in the points race. He's 27 points behind Bernd Schneider, and he's also behind Bernd Schneider on the track here, which means Schneider hopes that's where it stays. He can pick up some more valuable points. Klaus Ludwig now is moving up into what appears to be second place. Klaus Ludwig is running in second. Dumbreck is running third. And let's see who's running behind him. Eric Ellery, and then comes Manuel Reuter. So Mercedes are one, two, and three. And then come the two Opals. And then there's a gap between these cars and the rest of the pack. There's Reuter, and now Winkelhawk has moved up in another Opal. Marcel Fesler in the black Mercedes, the team car from Klaus Ludwig. Once again over the start finish line, and we've had a major change here in the standings with Mercedes taking the top three, and then come three Opals with Ellery Reuter and Winkelhawk. Fesler, the young rookie driver from Switzerland in seventh place. Pedro Lamy, another rookie from Portugal. He is running eighth. In fact, the rookie is also ninth. And Thomas Jaeger. Jaeger, the teammate of Van Schneider. And there you see Laurent Aiello, a former super touring car champion, driving in the Audi this year. The Audi is not as competitive as they had hoped to be. In fact, they're one of the very few that have not scored any points yet this season. Aiello has been certainly one of the stronger drivers they've had. There was an 11th place finish earlier this season, but other than that, they certainly have had their share of problems, probably more than they want to talk about. Here you see Uwe Alsen working on Thomas Jaeger. Jaeger on the outside, Alsen on the inside. Alsen 
having one of those seasons you want to forget about. And Jaeger staying with him and gets by him back up the hill. Alston has to drop down. They go into the fastest part of the course now. It's a downhill segment with a kink in the straight. They'll get up to about 150 miles an hour when they hit the straight here. There goes Alston by him. And down the hill they go, and this is the fast part of the course, and Jaeger's not letting off. Thomas Jaeger is not letting off, and Uwe Alsen, as they head through the kink, has to drop back. The Mercedes is quicker than the Opel. The rest of the field sorting itself out. You can see the moisture hanging in the air. Manuel Reuter, Opel's hope in the championship right now. You're back with Uwe Alsen. Alsen has Thomas Jaeger ahead of him. Alsen has just gone and fought his way through this season. It's been one of those who just, it's hard to describe. A man that was challenging for the title in the Super Touring cars has had more than his share of difficulties this year. And there goes Reuter off with a new line through the corner, followed by Winkelhock. You see the two corners there. This very sharp corner is what they built for the Grand Prix cars, and now their touring cars are using that same corner. This is Uwe Alsen at work here at the Nürburgring. It's a very fast course. The fans get a pretty good view all the way around. As once again, Uwe Alsen moves up on Thomas Jaeger. First race of two this weekend in the German Touring Car Masters. Four winners so far this season. Schneider, Reuter, Winkelhock, and Ludwig. And all the winners started on the pole in the first race. So Schneider, who won back at Hockenheim, taking the first two races out in front here, and his teammate right there, you're looking at him, Thomas Jaeger, is trying to hold off Uwe Alsen. The competition's been tough in these first races of the day. Only one driver's finished in all top fives this season, and that happens to be the man that's out in front in, in Bernd Schneider. And only three drivers have finished in all top tens in this first race. That'd be Schneider, Ludwig, and Timon. But you can see that when you figure that Ludwig is up there in the points, as is Schneider, these are the veterans. These are the ones who know how to get the points. However, there are some young drivers making a great name for themselves. And this right here is Bernd Schneider. And look at the lead that he is building up on Klaus Ludwig in the Barsteiner Mercedes. Then comes Dumbreck, and then behind him is Eric Ellery from France. Ellery turned 33 a little earlier this month. Uwe Alsen had a birthday on Friday, and they celebrated here at the Nürburgring. 20 cars in the field today. That's the largest field that has started a race this season. Alsen just continues to move in on Thomas Jaeger. Alsen just wants to finish well and get his good name back. He has had more problems, some of which in the beginning was him trying to adjust to a new car. Some of it was just problems that the car had. Get a good look at the course here at the Nürburgring as Alsen goes inside. Jaeger, they touch a little bit. Jaeger hangs on and drops in behind Alsen. These two have been going at it regularly here. Meanwhile, up front, everybody continues to run their own race. There's Winkelhock, and right behind him is Marcel Faisler, another of the fine young drivers this year, Faisler from Switzerland. He's one of two drivers that have run every single lap so far in the eight races run this season. Peter Dumbrick is the other one. Very consistent for these two rookies. And more battling going on. This is Ellery now trying to move up and can't do it. New corners, thanks to this wet track here at the Nürburgring, heading back toward the start-finish line. Ellery swings outside, wants to move inside. He's pulling up on Dumbrecht. Here early in the running, everyone going to find the wet part of the course to preserve the tires. They have the wet tires on. 
You really don't want the track to dry out too quickly. And the tires will then go down. Here's Uwe Alsen once again taking on Thomas Yeager. Maybe this time he can get by. They've been exchanging positions on a regular basis here. Jaeger's not giving up. You can just see his bumper up there in the left corner of the windshield. Did Alsen get by? It looks like he did. Once again, Ellery trying to move up on Dumbrecht. This is the battle right now for third position. There's Klaus Ludwig, and here's your battle for third between Ellery and Dumbrecht. Watching all this in the back in that yellow and white opal is Manuel Reuter. Ellery, a very popular driver, but certainly had also his share of troubles this year. There's one real highlight. He was the, he has one of the fastest laps in one of the races, but that's just about it. He's had more than his share of problems. And here they go again, and both of them go off. Ellery spins, Dumbrek keeps control, but went off the course. So Ellery drops back right in front of one of the other Opals, this being Winkelhawk, and now Reuter is running fourth and Marcel Fessler is running fifth. The course is drying out a little bit, but the drivers who started on slicks are so far back that it probably are not gonna be able to take advantage of the fact that they started that way. The drivers with the wet tires in the beginning were the ones that are right out in front now. It looks like Dumbrecht cut inside a little too much Ellery lost it in spawn. Dumbrick was out into the gravel, comes back on the course. Ellery is the one that loses positions here. Now you're viewing it from Dumbrick's perspective as he goes off the gravel. But he's able to keep it going, gets it on the course, does not spin, and actually moves up a position. Here comes Marcel Fesler working up behind Manuel Reuter. Reuter in fourth, Marcel Fesler right now is running fifth. Through the very tight and slow chicane, which leads him to the short straight and the right-hander that takes him to the start-finish line. And Fesler is pushing Reuter. He's inside. Is he going to be able to get him? He does. Reuter will drop back. As you ride with Reuter, Fesler goes over to pick up moisture for the tires. Reuter stays outside. Fesler holds on, and behind them is Eric Ellery. So the rookie, Marcel Fesler, has moved up another position. And you can see the rain coming down. And Michel Bartles has come in to change tires. Winkelhawk has gone off the course with the rain coming down. They're going to have to go with the wet tires. So the drivers have started on slicks. This is Turner. Darren Turner, he's come in. He had started on slicks. He has to come out with the wet tires. He cut right out in front of Scheider. Timo Scheider, another of the rookies. He had also started on slicks and has now gone to the wet tires. And there's your leader. So you see how much time they lost. Bernd Schneider has cruised since the opening moments. He started right up on the pole and has not been stopped ever since. It's an amazing drive for him. He has had a tremendous season, as has Klaus Ludwig, who started off very, very slowly and then came back the last three races. There is Dumbrecht, who is now running third. Fesler is running fourth, and Reuter is running fifth. And Pedro Lamy, Pedro Lamy is running now in sixth position. Lamy, who is also a new driver, we have not heard much from him so far this year, all of a sudden seems to be challenging here as Uwe Alsen has gone off the course. Uwe Alsen off the course. Lamy started back in 15th position and has moved up until sixth, and Fesler started in 11th, and he's now in the top five. Here comes Bartles in. And there you have Pedro Lamy right behind Manuel Reuter. No one has heard too much about Lamy this season, a former Formula One driver. There's what happened to Uwe Alsen. He took himself out. You just can't believe that the misfortune he has had. Menzel is now in. 
They're changing his tires. He had started on slicks and it proved to be the wrong decision. And here comes Dumbreck with a new line through the corner, as does Marcel Fesler. That very tight chicane has seen people using all types of lines, not necessarily the ones on the track to get through. There is Dumbreck, and right behind him, Marcel Fesler, then Reuter, then Pedro Lamy. So the young drivers who are considered rookies this season certainly are making a name for themselves. They're running up in the top five, in the top 10, and they are being very, very competitive. So far though, it's been the veterans that have been winning the races. And in this type of weather, you've got two of the best touring car drivers up running one and two, that being Bernd Schneider and Klaus Ludwig. Although a number of these drivers, with the exception of Alston, have a lot of experience on this track in the wet when they drove Formula 3 and other race, Formula races that they were involved in. Alston never started in Formula racing, he started right off in touring cars, and sometimes some of the experts say that that's one of the reasons he has trouble with this kind of weather. There goes Dumbreck again with a new angle through the corner. Fessler behind him, then comes Reuter and Lamy. You can see how wet the course is. In some areas, it's, there are puddles, particularly in the lower section, as they come across the start-finish line. As they head downhill here, they'll go through the chicane, come out of it, and then go down to a section that really has puddles in it. It's at 180, and you can see the water is laying in the, in the corner. Well, Peter Dumbrack continues to roll here. Dumbrack has had a great season. He's made quite a name for himself, basically because of his consistency. He's done an extremely good job. He had two fifth place finishes at Hockenheim in his very first outing in the touring cars. He was 11th and 5th at Officer's Laban, 14th and 9th at the Norris Ring. Then at the Saxon Ring, he made a name for himself. He was second twice. So he is a man to contend with. But right now, Marcel Fessler, another of the rookie Mercedes drivers, has gotten by him. And Fessler is also having what you'd call a tremendous season. It's just one of those years when the young drivers have come on so strong. Fessler, 24 years old from Switzerland, he has just been a force to contend with. Manuel Reuter, the veteran, and right now the top Opel contender in this field, hanging on, running in fourth position. Reuter had the misfortune in the first race of picking up a time penalty. He had finished third at Hockenheim, but picked up a time penalty for a bumping incident and dropped out of the points, and that has hurt him ever since. He's not been able to make it up, really. And Reuter has given up a spot. Pedro Lamy has moved up one. Here's Laurent Aiello in the Audi. He is running in the top 15. So Leroy Yellow, a former super touring car champion, when he drove for Peugeot, has the Audi running very well here. Audi added Jason Thompson to its crew for this race. Thompson from Britain became the third driver from England to come here. He'll finish out the season in one of the apt Audis. Once again, you're with Manuel Reuter. Ahead of him is Pedro Lamy. Well, Pedro Lamy, who has also been sitting back and not really been that much heard from, all of a sudden has become a force here. Lamy was 14th and 11th at Hockenheim, 7th and 8th at Oschersleben, 9th and 8th at Norris Ring. He didn't pick up any points at uh, Saxon Ring, or any finish there, and he finished uh, 12th in the second race at the Saxon Ring. So Lamy has had his time of adjusting from formula racing into touring cars. Looks like he may have found it here in the wet at the Nürburgring. First race of the day in the German Touring Car Masters 2000. The new return of the German Touring Car Masters, formerly called the German Touring Car Championship. Touring cars, one of the most popular forms of racing in Germany. At one time, the German Touring Cars were filling all the stadiums. 
It turned into the International Touring Car Championship and then unfortunately dissolved. It went from that to super touring cars, which are not quite as spectacular as these are. And then this year, the German Touring Car Championships are back. Thanks in part to Volker Stritzig and Norbert Haug, Stritzig with Opel, Haug and the Mercedes, who have backed this project right from the beginning. There's certainly a number of other people who have been working on it, but they became the front men of pushing it and getting the factory entries into the series. It's hoped that next year there'll be even more factory participation. And Pedro Lamy, Pedro Lamy has moved by Dumbreck. Pedro Lamy has moved by Peter Dumbreck. He's out for his probably what seems to be right now the best finish of his season. Amazing. Manuel Reuter, whoa, and Lamy gets a little squirrely there. There's Fesler. Then comes Pedro Lamy, fourth. Dumbreck is running fifth right now, and Reuter has dropped back to sixth. Reuter cannot afford to drop back much further. He's got to stay within some striking distance of Schneider as Dumbreck once again goes off the course, way off the course, and Reuter gets by him. The wet conditions here making it difficult at the Nürburgring. But Peter Dumbreck paying some dues here, driving a touring car in the wet, although this is the third race weekend where rain has certainly had an effect on the series. And here in the Eiffel Mountains of Germany, the weather is always a question. You never know what it's going to do. Back in the pack was Thomas Jaeger with Ellery. There you can see what happened to Dumbrick. He just went off. And Reuter stayed on the course. Dumbrick goes wide when he comes off and actually gets off onto the curbing, it looks like, a little bit. And that's where Reuter took advantage. There he goes off. And Uwe Alsen, there must be something wrong with Uwe Carr. Alsen has had a bad time this season, and he has certainly gone off the course more than what we've ever expected it. But this time here, this is not something that Uwe is doing, I'm sure. There's something in the car that's not cooperating. But for this man, everything is cooperating. Bernd Schneider. He will pick up a lead here in the points race as he works on his last lap here at the Grand Prix course at the Nürburgring. Schneider won the two races at Hockenheim. He had a third and a twelfth at Osher's Leben. He crashed late in that race. At Norris Ring, he was fourth and then came back from fourth to win the second race. At Saxon, he came back from 11th and finished third. He was third twice at the Saxon Ring. And now he's leading here at the Nürburgring. First race of the day in the German Touring Car Masters. And there you see Norbert Howe watching his driver ready to bring it home. We're talking about Pedro Lamy. Lamy really has come on very strong. His best start was seventh at Osher's Leben. He started 15th today. Can you believe that? Pedro Lamy started 15th and is now running up in the top five. What a great race for him. But for Ben Schneider, it's now to pick up points. They took advantage of Opel's difficulties at the Saxon ring and picked up big points. And now, Bernd Schneider comes home to win his second first race of a race weekend. It's also his fourth race victory of the year. There he is, Bernd Schneider, your winner here at the Grand Prix course at the Nürburgring, the first race of the day in the German Touring Car Masters. And Klaus Ludwig continues to pull up in the points. He probably will not pass Reuter after this race, but who knows, a good finish in the next race coming up in a few minutes could put him in his least second place. Reuter, who had been so promising in the beginning, now has been challenged by this man right here, the veteran, 50-year-old Klaus Ludwig. A touring car legend in Germany continues to show the way. And his teammate, Marcel Fesler, one of the rookies from Switzerland, finishes right behind him. Then comes Pedro Lamy, another rookie. What a great day for the rookies. What a bad day for Opel. Mercedes takes four of the top five positions. Reuter, the Opel that keeps him in there. Amazing. The next Opel, Eric Ellery, came in eighth. But this is the man of the hour in the first race, Baron Schneider, your winner here 
In the ninth race of the season in the German Touring Car Masters, Ludwig second, Fesler third, Lamy fourth. Look at this, Peter Dembrick, another of the rookies, along with Thomas Jaeger in sixth and seventh position. The Frenchman Eric Ellery in the Opel comes in eighth position. So Mercedes shows dominance in the wet here at the Nürburgring, and Opel continues to show they have some problems in the grip area. Winkelhock having a disappointing day for him, coming in ninth. Uwe Olsen battling literally to come in tenth. And look at that, Laurent Aiello in the Audi came in 11th. That's the second time an Audi has finished that high up. Unfortunately, Audi still haven't picked up any points, but he did very well. Jason Thompson, second race in the touring cars, he didn't do too badly. Chris Nissen uh, did not finish, he fell out early. Stefano Modena had problems right near the end of the race. You can see his car here, it went off. They're gonna have to get it back to the pits so they can get it ready for the second race of the day. And while we're waiting for the second race to get started, let's take a look at another one of the drivers in the series. Ben Schneider is not one of the loud, publicity-seeking stars. He is confident, he's strong, and he is fast. It was always that way, whether it was in carts, Formula 3 or Formula 1. Formula 1, a big disappointment. Three fruitless years. That time is now behind him. He's a proven star. Since 1991, he's led Mercedes in touring cars. He was the German touring car champion and the international touring car champion. He was the man of the hour. After the International Touring Car Series dissolved, he moved to GT cars. And once again, he was champ and runner up too. This year's Masters title seems to be headed toward Bernd Schneider's pocket, but it won't be that easy. And when Schneider has a problem, the problems make him stronger, as we've seen here at the Nürburgring and, in this case, at Hockenheim. Ready to go, second race of the day in the German Touring Car Masters here at the Nürburgring and the full complement of 20 cars coming out for the start of the second race of the day. And once again, weather will play an important part. Here's how they line up. Bernd Schneider, your leader. Klaus Ludwig finished second. He was second in the start row today here in the second race. You start according to how you finish in the first race. Fazler is third, Pedro Lamy fourth, two rookies in the second row. In the third row, Manuel Reuter and Peter Dumbreck. Reuter holding up the opal colors. Dumbreck holding up the rookie colors. Boy, they have been strong here. Next row, Thomas Jaeger, another rookie with the veteran Eric Ellery from France in the opal. Further back in the pack, Jochen Winkelhock still trying to find his way in his opal. Meanwhile, Uwe Alsen simply wants to get his car running and finish. And look at that, there are the apt Audis, Aiello and Thompson back in 11th and 12th positions. They can be very happy. It is wet, the drivers are on wet tires. Klaus Ludwig on the outside and the black Mercedes on the inside, Van Schneider. They come down, ready to make the run on the long straight before the chicane that narrows the field down very quickly and we're underway. Ludwig stays way outside, Schneider inside. Everyone has held positions very well to get through the start here on a wet course. Ludwig way outside on the right, 
Schneider goes inside. Ludwig cuts inside of his teammate, Marcel Fazler, and they line up that way going through the chicane. And everybody seems to have gotten through pretty well here. Well, spoke a little bit too soon as one car has spun out. Otherwise, everybody seems to have gotten through. With all the moisture coming up, it's hard to tell who came out where there. Schneider first, then comes Ludwig. So the two that finished one, two in the first race are running one, two here as we open up the second race of the day. Fessler is running third. Lamy is running fourth. And it's Eric Ellery whose car spun in the mist. Lucky that nobody hit him. Winkelhock goes by him there. And Uwe Altsen bumps into Marcel Thiemann. Altsen just continues to battle his way through with his open. Bernd Schneider, meanwhile, sets the pace. Ludwig second, Fesler third, Lamy fourth. Dumbreck is challenging Manuel Reuter. Reuter hangs on to fifth in that yellow and white opal. Dumbreck is behind him, but he's being challenged by Thomas Jaeger. Heading down into the faster part of the course. Cars still sorting themselves out a little bit. But your leader remains the same. Your top four remain the same. Schneider, Ludwig, Fesler, Lamy, Reuter, Jaeger. And Peter Dumbreck drops back a little bit. Marcel Timon has moved up into this group. And there's Michel Bartels. He's had an up and down season so far, but so has Opel. So there you now get the cars as they sort out after the first lap. Marcel Timon got a good start. He's up into seventh place right now. Halson back in 10th, Menzel in the 11th after his miserable first race while the wrong selection of tires. Ellery's dropped all the way back after his spin. Wow, Dumbrick went through, spun. Everybody else is spinning. And Dumbrick had gone off the course, had luck in the first race that he didn't spin when he went off. This time he did. And he's dropped way behind. He is at the end of the pack. He's got a long haul ahead of him. There comes Marcel Fesler from Switzerland. Finished third in the first race. Christian Apt brings his Audi back onto the course. Let's take a look. Well, it looks like back in the pack, the drivers just went off because they went off. It was uh, Dumbreck, and he lost it as he came back on. He spun, and everybody else got around him. So now everybody's just about happy. It looks like Ellery was the other one that spun in this case. Winkelhock went way to the outside, then come the Audis. So there's Dumbreck. You can see he got back on the course after coming off the grass. The car lost it, and Menzel gets by him first. Then comes Modena. Then comes Winkelhoff going off to the right. Ellery has spun behind him. And that was kind of a sorting out process of its own right there. Dumbreck, who had been running so well, has dropped way back now. He's going to have his hands full and move back up to the front. Meanwhile, Marcel Timon, he is in that Mercedes with that dark blue hood, which is actually a, a, a painting of the motor. He has the red mirrors. It's about the only way you can determine his car. But that one right there with the yellow mirrors, the Mercedes of Bernd Schneider. The black car with the red mirrors of Klaus Ludwig. Black car, Mercedes, black mirrors of Stanzler. Then comes Lamy, Reuter, Thomas Jaeger, Marcel Timon, and behind Timon, look at this. Uh, Uwe Olsen goes off again. He definitely is having some sort of problems with that car. Olsen has had been fighting it all along, and he had it in, under control, and it went very, very well until the tires went out of him at the Saxon ring. And now it's a case of something else is going wrong here. But once again, one of the apt Audis go off. It's Christian Apt. And the Opel of Modena has gone off the course. You can see how wet it is. He just slides back onto the track. And this right here is the battle for third and fourth. Fesler and Pedro Lamy, two Mercedes. So right now, Mercedes is sitting one, two, three, and four with Manuel Reuter running fifth. And there goes what happened to Modena. He just went off the course. Doesn't look like he had any helper whatsoever. He just went off. 
Got through the gravel, luckily, so he didn't get stuck. And keeps on going. Alsen, Menzel, Timo Scheider. Scheider, another of the young drivers, the youngest in the field. And another driver goes off. This is just a day for everybody to have problems. You can see that. Darren Turner, the man that goes off there. He just keeps fighting his car. It's very, very difficult for him, though. Pedro Lamy is his teammate. Lamy's having a good day. He's running up in fourth position. There you see Timon battling with Jaeger, both battling for grip here on a very wet course at the Nürburgring. Everyone started the second race on wet tires. In the first race, several drivers attempted to start the race on slicks, and it cost them. What you can see is the battle right now is for third and fourth. Reuter has fifth pretty much to himself. Timon going inside of Jaeger and gets by him. That's for sixth and seventh position. Well, it doesn't look like Jaeger is giving up position. He's not. And they're going over the curbs. They're bumping. Let's see who gets through this corner. It's a wet corner. They both get through. And Marcel Timon's the one that hangs on. There was some tight racing heading right toward the hotel in the final corner before the start finish line. Meanwhile, Obi Alsen sits back there with Menzel behind him. So the action up front has sorted itself out. Mercedes running one through four, with Reuter running in fifth position. And right now, the battle is back in the pack to see who can hang on. This is for. 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth position as Menzel is running ninth in the Irmshire Opal right there. Running behind Uwe Alsen. Then further back is Timo Scheider. And he's battling Bartels. And Bartels gets by him. Bartels, one of the veterans of the series. Scheider, one of the brand new ones. It's been a great mixture of drivers this season. And the young drivers have certainly proven their worth. They're right up there in all the categories. They just have not won one yet. But their consistency is there, and they're certainly some of them are paying quite a bit of money and learning how to handle one of these touring cars after most of them coming from formula racing. And the changeover is not that easy. But even a driver like Klaus Ludwig has his share of problems. Ludwig had a couple of races before he could go on. Eric Ellery had passed Scheider. He lost it. Scheider comes back and passes him again. And Eric Ellery is willing to try again. And Thomas Yeager goes off. Well, he's in a difficult position. Whether he can get back in or not, that's a question. Yeager in the team car of Baron Schneider, who's leading the race right now. Back in the pack again, Timo Scheider and Eric Ellery. And Ellery gets inside. And Alsen goes off again. Something really has to be wrong with Alsen's car, and that was tight. It, that cannot all be a driver problem. Something is wrong in the car. But Uwe certainly has put his car to a test here. There goes Jaeger. He went straight off. There was just no reason for him to go off. He hadn't, didn't have any help whatsoever. The car just took off, and he was gone. And he got it slowed down enough before he hit the tires. Doesn't look like any real damage was done. The question is, can he get back in again? Ellery now has gotten by Timo Schneider. Here comes Uwe Alsen, and parts of his car are flapping in the breeze. That front spoiler is broken. And the man up front, Baron Schneider. And look at the difference between him and the second place car, 50-year-old Klaus Ludwig, the veteran touring car star of Germany. Marcel Fensler, then Pedro Lamy from Portugal, followed by the Opel of Reuter, and then Marcel Timon in a Mercedes, followed by one of the Audis. How about that? The Audis are still running right up there, but Christian Opp, excuse me, well, he's been lapped. That's not one of the runs running up front. Aiello has been doing extremely well. Ufa Alsen once again off the course. Something is wrong with the car, obviously. If this is going off at places it shouldn't. It's like a gear is stuck or something. Michel Bartles with a new line through that corner. He'll have to get back on the course and hope he can get back headed downhill and get up to speed. A 
The weather here at the Nürburgring, always a contentious matter. Uwe Alsen goes straight off and then comes back on again. The man is being put to the test this year of his patience. The frustration level has been extremely high. He just has not had a competitive season. It's a couple of times he's looked very, very good. Other times, well, that's one of those you want to forget. Those are the things that nightmares are made of. And that's another nightmare. Whoa, is that close. Modena spun on his own, and one of the Audis just missed him. Stefano Modena in the ATS Opal. Whoa, he almost got hit by another one. In a very dangerous corner leading up to the start finish line. He almost took care of two of the apt Audis. So Stefano Modena gets his car running again, but he's way back in the pack. There's Christian Menzel, followed by Eric Ellery. These two drivers have had their share of problems here in the second race. And they had big problems in the first race. And now they're battling for position in the second race of the day in the German Touring Car Masters here at the Grand Prix course at the Nürburgring. And Ellery gets by the two Opel drivers going at it here. Whoa, and Menzel gives him a bump from behind. Menzel gave him a bump. This is where Menzel is at home. This is his home track. He knows it as well as anybody. And he gets inside as they head downhill. Two Opal drivers going at it. But they are farther back in the pack than they certainly would like to be. And there's Uwe Olsen. Part of the car rubbing against the tire. What else can go wrong for this man? It's not what you'd call a great birthday weekend. Celebrated the birthday on Friday, but has had his problems ever since. Timo Scheider goes off and certainly gains an advantage here. That's worth a penalty. Well, it won't be. Maybe not. Maybe not. Bartles will get by. Therefore, Scheider did not gain a position. If he'd gone through the corner like that and kept the position, then there probably would have been a time penalty. But in this case, he gained no advantage. And so there won't be any. And there comes Ubi Alsen behind them. These drivers back in the pack. Battling for simply to get into the points. They're around 11th, 12th, and 13th positions. Scheider actually has had a pretty good season. He started off very strong and surprised just about everybody. And then it went downhill from there. He had a two fourth place finishes at Hockenheim. And Louis Olsen goes off again. Something definitely wrong with the car. Something's just wrong, and he's just trying to bring it home. We said Scheider had two fourth-place finishes at Hockenheim. He had a fifth and a seventh at Officer's Leben, and then it's gotten a little difficult. 12th and 11th and two sevenths. He was 16th here in the first race of the day here at the Nürburgring. But you have to remember that he uh, started on the slick tires, hoping that the track would dry out. It didn't, and he had to go change tires and drop the way back. But this is the man that's out in front. This is the man that's dominated. This is the man that's on his way to a second sweep of a race weekend. Bernd Schneider in Mercedes. Schneider won the two races at Hockenheim. He won the second race at the Norris Ring. He finished third at the Saxon Ring to gain in points over his Opal contender, Manuel Reuter. He won the first race of the day here at the Nürburgring and is on his way to the second race win. And quite frankly, he'll have a big point lead. His only contender will probably be his own Mercedes colleagues. And that would be Klaus Ludwig. But we're not there yet, although we are in the last lap. Bernd Schneider, one of the top touring car drivers in Germany. And this is the man that puts the Mercedes together. Hans Werner Aufrecht. And this is his top driver, or one of his top drivers, but right now this is the man that's out in front of the points. And with this finish today and Manuel Reuter finishing down the list, Schneider will have a commanding lead, no doubt about it. His nearest contender will be Klaus Ludwig as long as Klaus brings it home again second here in the second race. Heading through the tight chicane, nobody near him can take his time, bring it home, 
heads toward the hotel, and then makes the right-hander down the start-finish line. And the crew will be waiting for him as he heads down, out, he'll swing over toward the wall, and Ben Schneider has won the second race of the day here at the Grand Prix course at the Nürburgring. It's his fifth victory this season, the seventh for Mercedes. And this is the man that brought home two victories before for Mercedes, finishing twice today, Klaus Ludwig, finishing second. Then Fesler third in another Mercedes, and then Pedro Lamy fourth in another Mercedes, and there is Manuel Reuter. The top Opel finisher of the day, the best he can do with two fifth place finishes. He's going to drop back in the points by big numbers. And Ludwig should be moving into second place in the points race. But right now, it's a very happy Bernd Schneider on a very wet day at the Nürburgring. A great look at the course here and the crowd. There you see the Mercedes dominance. Marcel Thiemann in a Mercedes is sixth. Alaric Ellery in an Opel is seventh. Turner in a Mercedes is eighth. So Mercedes had a great day here in the wet. And Opel still has a lot of work to do when it comes to setting up the car under these conditions. The Opel's finishing 9, 10, and 11. And then comes Dumbreck, who had a very difficult second race. Uwe Alsen managed a 13th. Aiello, after an 11th place finish in the first race, came in 14th. Not bad for the apt Audis. Jochen Winkelhock, he just soon forget the day. He was back in 19th position. So now it's time to celebrate. Ben Schneider on the top of the podium. Fessler is on the right, Klaus Ludwig on the left, and the celebration begins. And what a Mercedes celebration it is. The fourth sweep this season by the drivers, three times by Mercedes now, where they've won both races. And today it was a major one because they had taken a big lead in the points, and now look at this. Schneider is way out in front. He has a 42-point lead over Klaus Ludwig. Manuel Reuter drops all the way back to some 51 points behind in third place. So Bernd Schneider on his way to a title in the German Touring Car Masters. The next stop on the tour will be a brand new course in Germany, the Lausitz Ring. It's an oval that they'll use part of the oval and part of a road course. Promises to be a lot of action in the German Touring Car Masters. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast today and will join us at the Lausitz Ring.